Campanella and I am here with Boca bearings to show you all how to replace the bearings inside the front differential for your 1 16th Traxxas slash. Some of the tools that you're going to need to replace the bearings inside of the differential is a 1.5 millimeter hex screw driver, a 2 millimeter hex screw driver, and a pair of needle nose pliers. So to start off, there is no certain steps in replacing a differential. You just got to take everything off to get to it. So how I would go is removing the bottom skip plate. The next part I'm going to take off is the front bumper. So there's going to be three screws um, total that are into the chassis, two up front, one right behind. So we're going to take off or unscrew is the push rods that are attached to your shocks. I'm just going to unscrew these. And so after we take out these push rods, I put the screws back inside just so I don't lose them. Now we're going to take off this screw, take out this screw right here, which will take off this plate so we can get to the pins that hold in the suspension arms. So before we take out the pins, we're actually going to unscrew these push rods that are hooked up to the steering. You're going to use your needle nose pliers. You grab the pins. Next step uh, will just be unscrewing these screws to pull the steering column off. Because what we're going to have to do is take out these screws which hold in the shocks because these screws actually go through holding in the bulkhead for the differential. And then under the shocks there are two more screws that we're going to have to get, on, get to. So. Now, differential should come out. A little bit of wobbling. There we go. Now, there is a screw right here. Goes through the differential, uh, the bulkheads, and it holds it together. Just want to unscrew that. I want to unscrew the axles. Now, the differential will split apart. Just make sure you remember where everything goes. Okay. So you have a total of right here, four bearings, two of the smaller ones and two big ones. You just pop them out. And that's it. Now what we're gonna do is replace the bearings. So you just put them back where the ones came out of. Now we're gonna put the two smaller bearings on. They went on that little gear axle thing that came out of the differential. So we're just gonna put two of them on. Just gonna redo everything um, just in the opposite order. So now we're gonna put this axle back on the shaft and put this screw in with the 1.5 millimeter screwdriver. Okay, that's good. And we're gonna put a differential back in. Actually, you actually gotta put this in first. So, these little grooves right here, a uh, bearing goes there and a bearing goes right here. So you're going to split them, put it in between, and you're going to get your differential. It's all looped up. There's no bearings in here. And you're just going to put it on top. And now when you spin it, that should spin. Then you're going to get the other side of the bulkhead. And put it on. You do have some grease. Um, you can get it at your local RC hobby shop. You're just going to put a little bit in there, not too much. Gonna spin it. Alright. You don't want too much in there because you still want everything to be able to expand, so you're gonna need room. And you can spin it by putting an axle on. So you just wanna make sure that you just wanna make sure that everything is free. There's nothing binding up in there before you put everything back. So it does feel pretty good. Now, put these 
axles back and we're going to attach the bulkhead back to the chassis. So there are grooves in these axles that need to go back um, perfectly. So axle in. We're just going to screw those screws that were in the chassis back in so that it will firmly be on the chassis. What I'm going to do is put the steering column back on. So you're just going to slide it back in there. And most slashes do not come with two servos, but I did add another servo on. So it's just another extra step you got to do. Next is put the shocks back on that because the these screws that hold in the shocks also hold in the bulkhead. So we'll do that. We're going to just quickly put on the axles. And after we're done with the axles, then we'll start with the suspension arms. Okay, so now we're going to put the suspension arms back onto the bulkhead by using the pins that we took out earlier. Got all these back. Now we're going to do the bumper, which the screws we have, and the bottom skid plate, and then we're done. So here, the last step. Just tighten all these screws for the skid plate. We already got the bumper on. Okay guys, so here's a video of how to replace the bearings in the rear differential. I am going to speed this video up because it is the same process as doing the front differential, but I just wanted to give you guys a visual of how I do it. So you can see how I'm taking off the rear bumper. Then I took off that blue plate that holds in the suspension arms, just like how there was one in the front. So now you can see I'm taking off the shock mounts. Uh, the screws to get the differential off are under the shocks, so you do have to take off the shock mounts. So now you guys can see I am removing the pins that hold in the suspension arms, just like how I removed them in the first video when I was doing the front. So now the final step, after you get the suspension arms off, you're going to take the screws out that hold in the differential that were under the shocks. So the differential is finally out, and this part is the exact same as the front differential. So you guys can just go back and watch the video on how to replace the bearings, and that's it.